and Israel is all set for its next Prime Minister, someone who's been the longest serving Prime Minister in the past as well. First Prime Minister to be born in the independent Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu has already had two stints as the Prime Minister of Israel. In his previous stint, he served for 15 years. With the Knesset's complete support, Netanyahu is now ready to become Israel's Prime Minister once more. Now, Netanyahu is coming back as the head of the most right-wing government in Israel. Netanyahu's bloc of nationalist and religious parties won a clear election victory last month. He is expected to swear in his new government today, after Likud party finalizes two remaining deals. The former prime minister is all set to start his sixth term in the office, and he has declared ex-general Yoav Galan, a Likud member, as his defense minister in the upcoming cabinet. In his statements and interviews abroad, Netanyahu has repeatedly said that he will safeguard civil rights, will not allow any harm to the country's Arab minority or to the LGBTQ plus community and pursue peace. The coalition deals with pro-settlers, religious Zionism and ultra-Orthodox have been formalized. Legislation thus ratified will enable the pro-settler religious Zionism party to take up a post of second minister within the defense ministry, granting it broad authority over expansion of Jewish settlements in the occupied West Bank land that Palestinians seek for a state. U.S. brokered Israeli-Palestinian peace talks collapsed in 2014 with some members of the religious Zionism advocating for the annexation of the West Bank. The revival of peace talks appears to be unlikely. The prospective coalition members pledged to curb Supreme Court powers in anti-gay statements here, calling to allow business to refuse services to people based on religious grounds, alarming liberal Israelis as well as its Western allies. Look, Netanyahu is, in, is a weak leader right now. He's, you know, if, we're, if you're looking at the political, po political situation in Israel, you know, we're seeing that the right, the extreme right, are actually uh, giving their tone. And this is our biggest fear. We're trying to see, to, uh, to have our voice as the you know, business community in Israel, the startup nation, and provide our values to what Israel needs to be done. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.